Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Q&A. Uh, this week's video, I'm going to do only Q&A, and then next week will be an update on the cut, which kind of makes sense more because I'm actually having more changes next week during the cut. So today's video is going to be all Q&A. And I asked you guys some questions on Instagram, so thank you if you guys dropped a question. I really appreciate that. Uh, everybody in here, I really appreciate that. And if you're watching this, I appreciate you. But without further ado, we can get into the first question. And this one is from Sebastian Frost. What is your plan of attack for the cut? Um, I guess I'll kind of refer you to my previous video. It'll be up here uh, about how I'm going to get shredded. And then next week, I'll have an update on the cut, and it'll kind of be more details for my plan, because uh, it's kind of all more, it's kind of lengthy, and it's all in those videos. You can watch that if you're wondering, um, but in case you're wondering, I am on a cut. I'm trying to get shredded, uh, the leanest I've ever been, and it's starting to be good. Like, I'm starting to see my abs just a little bit, not like the most I ever have, but it's nice to just, like, feel leaner and tighter. Second question, how are you calculating your macros? Are you counting macros I am not counting macros so what I'm doing is calories it just focus on like 2,800 calories right now at least like under that or at that and macros I'm trying to hit I always shoot for one gram of protein per pound of body weight but technically I only need like 0.7 that's what the studies show so anywhere between 150 and 190 grams of protein and then I always try to have like a decent amount of fats and carbs. I'm not really paying too much attention other than make sure I get protein. And I'll notice if I'm like really low fat or super high carbs. But so no real mm, tracking macros at all. And I'm not sure if I'll have to get into that. If I do, I'll let you guys know if I start doing that. But third question, BPN sponsorship plans. So if you guys know me, I'm always talking about BPN Supps, uh, and they're the supplement company I use for all my protein, creatine, pre-workout, everything right now, strong reds, greens. I like them, like them a lot. I'd like to be sponsored. They have an ambassador application, and if you saw my 2021 goals video, which will also be up here right now, I, I had the goal of becoming sponsored by BPN. That'd be freaking awesome. That's my goal. I want to make that happen. Unfortunately, I've applied two or three times and haven't got in any of the times, which, oh well. It's kind of like fuel, like motivation. So I'm going to just apply every time I can for the ambassador application, and hopefully I get in. But if not, that's fine. I might have other things in the works, hopefully, with supplement companies. But we will see, and I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um... Question number four, who's your favorite neighbor? Hmm. Probably, um, Preston. I don't know. I'm not going to pick a favorite. I have you, Sebastian. It's, I like, my neighbor, our neighborhood's pretty, the hood, the south side <laughs> is pretty nice. Um, I'm not going to pick any favorites, really. I like everybody. No problems with anybody in the neighborhood. Uh, question number five, favorite cheat meal. So I guess I don't necessarily have cheat meals per se, but I'd, I would, okay, you can count pizza maybe as a cheat meal, but I always, like, I have pizza every Sunday, my favorite food, but I count it into my calories. Like, I don't oh, go over my calories. It's not really cheating. So maybe pizza or, like a nice pancake, like pancakes and eggs, like that whole brunch, pancakes, eggs, all that. I like that a lot. That, that'd that probably be my favorite cheat meal, by far those two. Uh, next question, this one, well that last one's from Ella Hand, other one is from Dwight Kinney, as you guys could see. Um, this question's from Talia Guard. I want a video of Avery shaving your stash. Hmm. Psych? <laughs> Not happening yet. We still got a nice 
long ways in the stash. I'm just kidding. I don't know when I'm going to shave it, but not yet. I will let Avery do it when I do, though. All right. I'm going to continue this from Avery's room now. Um, next question is from Avery herself. Does my baking affect your cutting at all? Um, well, I'd say it affects it a little bit. She's actually right over here. But it does affect it, but it doesn't make it, like, really hard. It honestly gives me good discipline. Like, if I can resist eating a full piece of pie whenever I'm over here, I can resist getting ice cream or sweets elsewhere. Like, it's kind of good for me. I don't know. And it's nice. Sometimes I do have a little bit of it feed my sweet tooth, I guess. So it affects it, but it doesn't make it too hard, I would say. Um, next question, also from Avery. Also, why are you a potato? Well, I, I guess I was just born this way. <laughs> Lady Gaga. <laughs> All right, next one. This would be question number nine, I think. This is from Reese Mohelen Brink. I don't know how to say your last name that well. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. But Reese's question is mustache maintenance. I actually do have some mustache maintenance. I'll show you what it is right now. All right, so that clip accidentally got deleted. We recorded it. Anyway, it's, I use Avery's like little eyebrow brush. I comb my mustache and I use his little scissors to trim it or I have Avery trim it. So I actually do have maintenance. I just like, yeah. You can't see it because the clip accidentally got deleted. Whoopsie. All right, and then next from Jaden Onkin. Uh, thank you for the four questions, Jaden. I appreciate that. But this one is, what's your favorite clothing brand? Overall clothing brand, I would probably say American Eagle. I have like the most, most of my clothing is from American Eagle. I have multiple shirts, all my jeans, and a lot of my underwear. So, American Eagle probably is technically, um, and then if we, like, that's, like, overall, and then if we just go, if you want to know, like, my favorite fitness clothing, uh, I like Alpha Elite and Gymshark, those are pretty much it, and then other than that, I don't really have a lot of name brand stuff, I kind of just, I have a bunch of champion stuff, like, they're joggers and, um, a couple hoodies, but, yeah. American Eagle, Alphalete, Gymshark, Champion. Those are kind of all my favorites. Next question from Jaden. Who would win in a wrestling match? Q or Will? So Quinn or Will. That would be, I think it'd be an excellent wrestling match. It'd be fun to watch. I don't think I can pick a winner. I honestly don't know who would win. I don't think they would ever wrestle unless it was uh, like willingly, like just for fun. Like no, no hard feelings or anything. So I don't know who would win. It'd be fun to watch though for sure. Um, this question, this is a good one. What would you tell your 10 year old self? Ooh, kind of a deep one. I would say, I would tell my 10 year old self, like I'd want to instill in him the, the mindset of not caring what other people think. Um, and like realizing that whatever you're worrying about or self-conscious about, other people are not paying attention. Because think about it. If you're spending all that time like you're worrying about yourself, they're worried about themselves too. They do not care. So just if I could instill that mindset of not caring what other people think into my 10-year-old self, that would be awesome. Because 10, year 10 years into like the junior high days, that really, junior high and middle school gets you into those very self-conscious days. And I used to be really self-conscious. Not near as much anymore. I guess I, I'm honestly not really at all anymore. But... Yeah, I would tell my 10 year old self that because it'd save him a lot of like worrying and embarrassment. <laughs> um, this one also from Jay, not a question, but a statement. Stashes add 15 to 20 pounds to your PR. Unfortunately, I don't know if this is true yet. I have not maxed out since I've had the stash, so it may or may not be true. I. I think I'll have to try it next time I'm getting my strength and maxing phases. I might have to try it, so I'll let you guys know. This one from C. Symes Carson. How can I gain muscle so I can look like you? <clears throat> go to GrantJohnsonFitness.com. Actually, though, you go to my website, GrantJohnsonFitness.com, and get workouts there, workout programs, or coaching, like 
one-on-one -on -one coaching where I walk you through everything like I'm with you every step of the way like basically the best way I can guarantee you see results and watch my videos but put simply if you just if you watch my videos and learn from there um I don't know like look like me it takes a lot of time just so you know like I'm not even near satisfied and it takes many many years be consistent pump some iron get your calories in and uh, just eat right work out right you know work out <laughs> it'll work out um, but yeah check out the website my YouTube videos my Instagram that's kinda where I educate everybody on how to do the stuff so I even have a workout with Grant so you can train literally what I'm training so yeah next one this is a second to last question no nope, third to last this one's from Grace Trevs what do you see yourself doing in the next 10 years ideally? Well, 10 years from now, I will be 29. Wow, that's old. Uh, I, I expect I would have graduated college with a bachelor's degree, and I'll be working somewhere in like the finance field, maybe a financial advisor with my degree, and still continuing to do this. And if I'm a successful enough, with these videos, my fitness coaching, I will do that full time. But until I'm successful enough to do it full time, I won't. So this full time, um, that I'm pro be married. May might even have a couple kids by then. Probably will have two kids or so. I don't know by then. Um, and starting to like settle down into full adult life. But ideally, I'd like to be doing this: be married, have kids, enjoying life. Uh, another question from Grace. Aves Bakes and Grant Johnson should have a cookbook collab. I think that would actually be really good. Um, we would have the best sweets in there for sure. And then we'd also have like healthy sweets and healthy meals that taste good because we kind of have that collaboration. It'd be, it'd be really good because I like to think I'm a pretty decent cook. Like I cook a lot of my own meals. Um, and then Avery is much better than me at cooking and baking by far. So it would be good. Maybe one day we will make that. Last question. This is from Austin Olson. Uh, it's a different format, but my question is, how does one keep the sash looking that fine? You saw my mustache uh, maintenance or whatever, but it's really not that good. I appreciate the hype you've given. Everybody's given me for my mustache. <laughs> um, it's not that good. Definitely better than I've had it before. It's kind of just for fun that I have it, but um, yeah, I don't really do that much for it. And and it's blonde, so it's not super obvious in some lighting. Like you, can, you might not even be able to tell if I'm way back here. So, anyways, that's all the questions. Uh, I hope this video isn't too long. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if there's questions that didn't get answered, or you're still wondering something, drop in the comments down below, or DM me on Instagram, which is linked down below, and I reply to everything if you just ask me or comment. I appreciate everything. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in next week's video. Have a great day. Goodbye.